You may have seen them, scores of dead crappie and bullhead catfish washing ashore the banks of Lake Gregory and Crestline. The mysterious mid-June fish die-off sparked rumors of lake toxins and fish disease. Adding to the mystery were reports of a strange boat cruising the lake at night. People were asking us whether the Earth Day paint spill that we experienced here at Lake Gregory had any direct relationship to the fish die-off that we had. The park had two independent laboratories do organic compound samples and found both to be negative. It's our understanding from Fish and Game that it's the overpopulation of the crappie during the spawning season that causes this natural occurrence. Fish population surveys conducted at Lake Gregory by state fisheries biologists in the fall of 2008 and the spring of 2009 revealed an overpopulation of black crappie. This overpopulation places stress on the fish, which must compete for the food they need to physically endure the rigors of defending their eggs during spawning season. Fish without adequate food or fat reserves to sustain them often die from the stress. Uh, with the black crappie in Lake Gregory, uh, especially right now, I would say with the summertime temperatures coming up, water temperatures coming up, um, with an overpopulation, it's just like anything. There's more stress on the fisheries. There's more competition. Um, there's a lot of comp competition already in the lake for food and resources. Um, so right now, that's, it seems like with the, the rise in the water temperatures, you're going to see some, some, some of the more... Uh, detrimental effects of it and sort of fish die off sort of like what we're seeing uh, in Lake Elsinore with over overpopulations of carp. Um, just it, it comes back to stress and uh, with the elevated water temperatures. Catfish are also in abundance in Lake Gregory, Ewing says, but their deaths are most likely due to fatal deep hooking injuries caused by the fish swallowing bait during the fishing season. As for the mysterious boats seen cruising the lake at night, it's the state fish and game electrofishing boat used to conduct fish surveys. We caught up with the crew at work on Lake Silverwood. We've got two anodes that swing out, the booms that swing out in the front of the boat. What we'll do is the, we got netters up front that man the current going into the water. Um, depending on the connectivity, uh, it can range from 200 to 500 volts, uh, ranging from anywhere from two to 14 amps. Uh, again, that depends on the connectivity of the lake. Um, the, the current temporarily knocks the fish out 30 to 60 seconds. The crew net the fish, throw them in the live well. We measure, weigh them, uh, and then they're thrown back in the water where they, they swim off. Ewing's crew will return to Lake Gregory in the fall. In the meantime, state fish and game biologists will work with county staff to determine the best way to help balance the fish populations at Lake Gregory. This is Corinne Wetmore reporting for ROTW News.